Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Adam, and you're watching Unlimited Options Investing. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope everyone has at least a little bit of Tesla in their portfolio, as it's been a crazy couple of, I guess, weeks, months, or years in the stock market. I just every day is just so interesting. I love what I do. I love posting on YouTube and sharing with you guys and just growing the channel and just talking about stocks, as that is like all I do pretty much every day. So in this video, I want to talk about two of my riskiest stocks. They are both small caps. Uh, they are risky in the sense that very volatile in the short term and when it comes to the long term, uh, there's no guarantee they survive. They're by no means blue chip companies and those two stocks are the Very Good Food Company as well as Voyager Digital Stock. And they're both pretty popular names amongst retail investors. Let's get right into it. Before we do, if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard and hit that subscribe button. Here at Unlimited Options Investing, we talk everything from stocks, crypto, options, ETFs, precious metals, all the fun stuff we're investing for the long term as well as always smash that like button guys let's get started all right so i first want to start off with the russell 2000 uh, the iwm it has been pretty range bound and the fact that we are right next to those 52 week highs and it being seasonally one of the strongest months of the year when it comes to stock gains and in addition to that zooming into the small caps over here the s p 600 small cap we are trading at historically low valuations i repeat historically low valuations mid caps are right there on average and large caps of course are higher than usual over the past like 15 years ever since the dot-com bubble which is alarming however the macroeconomic conditions since that time period is much much different right now than it was before one could also argue much more confusing as well all right first taking a look at voyager digital ticker symbol vygvf it trades over the counter and it also trades on the toronto stock exchange under voyg and taking a look at the year to date, 52 week low is 64 cents from about a year ago and a 52 week high of $30 back from April of this year. And since then, we've been in a slow bleed all the way down to where we were at about $9.50 about a week ago and popping just last week. And if we zoom into the last six months, we were actually stable for quite a long time up until September when the company started trading on the Toronto Stock Exchange. And ever since then, it fell quite dramatically down 40%. However, zooming in from last week on Tuesday 26 to where we are today, we're up 60%. So as you can tell, a very volatile stock in the short term. It is a crypto brokerage after all, and crypto itself is already pretty volatile and risky to begin with. So some people will argue that crypto isn't risky, but I mean, that's just my opinion. And during the middle of this month, while Voyager was depressed, Bitcoin and Ethereum were actually pushing against their all-time highs, and stocks like Coinbase and other crypto miners were doing very well, except for Voyager Digital. And it was quite frustrating, but now we see this pop over here. It could be a sign for things to come, or perhaps not. And there's been a lot of catalysts when it comes to Voyager stock in the past week or so. For example, 20 days ago, they secured final approval to begin operations in Europe. While Bitcoin and Ethereum were pushing against those all-time highs, they were seeing increased volume, even though we didn't see it in the stock price of Voyager Digital. They became the official cryptocurrency brokerage partner of the Dallas Mavericks, who are actually giving away $100 of free Bitcoin when you sign up for Voyager and use their promo code, which I think is pretty cool as well as crushing earnings reporting revenue of $175 million for fiscal 2021. As total revenue increased from $1 million in fiscal year 2020, operating income of $56 million compared to an operating loss of $11 million in fiscal year 2020. Total verified users grew from $1.75 million, up from 86000 in June 30th, 2020. Total funded accounts grew to 665000 from 23000 in June 30th, 2020. Total assets under management grew to $2.6 billion from $35 million, again from June 30th, 2020. So they are growing at pretty crazy rates, and they have a market cap of $2.92 billion Canadian. And when you contrast that to its older brother, Coinbase, with a market cap of $69.82 billion in US dollars, the runway is pretty long for Voyager Digital. Taking a look at the candlestick, so as we mentioned, this one has been in a deep downtrend ever since April. So I drew a line over here since May, connecting the top from August as well as September. And we see on the 28th of October, blasting through it and opening and closing above that candlestick two days in a row. So what I'm looking for moving forward, if this stock can maintain about $14, let's say even $13.50, that can show us some kind of confidence with the stock. We can draw a line maybe over here, connecting the resistance level over here, as well as the support line, as well as potential supports from February time as well. I could probably draw one more as well around here at, let's say, $13.50. So some key areas to watch for now, they want to see some support around these levels. And next up, taking a look at the Very Good Food Company, ticker symbol VGFC. One now trades on the NASDAQ, as well as the Toronto Venture Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol VERY. Taking a look at the last six months, we've been in a pretty crazy downtrend. We see a little pop over here, and that's because the company was applying to list on the NASDAQ. 
and it was a pretty exciting time. It had potential to go up even further, but it got listed after like two days. And right after they listed, they also raised money, which pissed off a lot of investors, sending the stock even lower from where it was before. So a lot of negative news surrounding the stock at the moment. It has a market cap of $204 million Canadian dollars. And taking a look at the news over the last week or two, there there really hasn't been much ever since that $30 million direct offering. We do see in this article, however, the Very Good Food Company announces new innovative products for retail release. So the Very Good Butchers to launch plant-based butchers select spicy meatballs and Very Good Steak Duo. These new innovative product offerings will broaden Very Good's product range in the plant-based meat market. And this is always good news if your company is innovating and releasing new products, but this isn't really anything to move the needle. I do want to point out that I am a fan of their products. I have tried it many times before. I do like them. I don't necessarily die for them either. If I was vegan myself, I probably would eat them a lot more often. But speaking from an investment point of view, this one has been pretty frustrating over the past year or so. As we can see, a 52-week low of $1.53 and a 52-week high of $7.43. And taking a look at the candlesticks, where is the bottom for this one? So we could draw a trend line like this over here. We did break that trend line for a little bit, but the buyers couldn't step up and maintain those prices especially with all that news coming out at the same time. And if we zoom out, let's say, to the weekly over here, we could draw a line over here at about $1.50, which was a pretty strong area of resistance when the stock IPO'd in summer of 2020, and that resistance could be support if we end up getting there. The Very Good Food Company and Voyager Digital are both high-risk, high-reward stocks. They're highly volatile, and of course, there's no guarantees in the market, but if you're willing to take the risk, you could be rewarded very nicely down the line. But let me know in the comments below, are you investing or trading the Very Good Food Company or Voyager Digital? Let me know. As always, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Thank mm -hmm. you.